Work on Snack support for the PlayStation Core has started. It's not being implemented by the Core's developer, but someone else. That's all that can be revealed for now regarding Snack support. Snack is a way to get original console controllers working on the Mr. FPGA with no lag. This is accomplished by allowing the Core to communicate with the controller the same exact way the original console does. This communication must be done through the I.O. board's USB serial port, along with allowing you to use original PlayStation controllers with no lag on the core. It will also be possible to use a GunCon 1 for light gun gaming and other PlayStation peripherals like a DDR mat. Another thing I want to talk about is other benefits that can be possible with the addition of another RAM stick. The developer stated on Discord that along with 100% accurate sound, it's possible to achieve a higher frame rate 24-bit color rendering, and many other possibilities. The developer has a lot in mind. As the development of the core progresses, it will be better known exactly what additional features will require a second RAM stick. If you want more control of Linux for the Mr. FPGA project, there are two available Arch-based distros that you can install. These are not meant to replace the Linux the Mr. OS runs on. There are alternatives for more advanced users who want the control that Arch Linux affords them. There's two different projects available, one called Mr. Arch and another called Monsieur FPGA. So exactly what can you do with these distros? Well, with Mr. Arch, you can have SSH FS mounting of remote file systems, even with system D auto mounting, BTR FS and BTR BK remote snapshot possibilities, USB IP in case you don't have a carrier board yet and forget to buy a USB on the go cable. Repurpose the hardware for other FPGA shenanigans. Maybe you want to develop your own FPGA stuff but still want to run Arch on the resulting system. And for Monsieur FPGA, the ability to update and add Linux drivers. Don't wait 30 seconds for your Super NES 8GB compressed zip file to open. It's now instantaneous. Extend your vintage computer cores by using your favorite open source tools on Monsieur FPGA and the share folders. Develop for the Mr. FPGA platform, then Monsieur FPGA images are for you. You can install development kits for your favorite consoles and develop games for them right on your Mr. As you can see, these are power user features and targeted for those that want to do more tinkering or want to have an all-in-one development kit. Other users suggest stick with the base Linux, which does a great job of playing your games. A few weeks ago, we had beta GunCon 2 support for CRTs. Now, there is a beta driver to use Namco's GunCon 3 for light gun games in Mr. This is significant because it allows you to play light gun games on a flat screen TV. Older Namco gun cons and other light guns work on different technology that makes them unusable on modern television displays. The GunCon 3 was made specifically with modern displays in mind. If you want to help out the testing of this beta driver, then you can head over to the controllers channel on the Mr. FPGA Discord. Darren O on Twitter has released a beta core for the Toaplin V1 arcade hardware. The core is in active development with assistance from Blackwine and Attract 17. Games already running on this core are Zero Wing, Outzone, and Hellfire. Other games being worked on are Truxton, Vimana, Fireshark, and Rallybike. Demon's World is another game that runs on the hardware, but a core for that game is already slated to be implemented by Hotego. As with any beta core, expect there to be issues, but you can help out the development by reporting any issue you may come across on GitHub. The core for now must be downloaded through GitHub, so head on over there if you want to give it a try. And other cores getting miscellaneous fixes and updates are AO486, Minimig, Vectrex, Arduboy, AY38500, BK0011M, Specialist, and Vector06C. For more information about the cores and the Mr. Project in general, you can visit the Mr. FPGA forums or the Mr. FPGA Discord server. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support RetroRGB on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. 
And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.